this is going to be a demonstration on using the onion skin tool in Adobe Flash CS6. And I'm going to first create a background. I'm going to name my layer background. I'm going to go ahead and grab the brush tool. And I'm going to create a half pipe. It's a ramp that skateboarders use. So, I'm just going along, drawing this freehand with the mouse, and I am creating a half pipe. So, I'm going to go ahead and take it off the stage and draw a line just at the side of the stage and close it. So, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and fill it in with a color, um, go with orange, and fill it in with orange with the paint bucket tool. And go ahead and grab my brush tool again, change the fill color to black and create a new layer called character so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to begin drawing my first frame of my character So there's his feet, his body, his head, and the board with wheels. So I don't need to create any more layers at this point. You could um, separate the body from the head and the board from the uh, character, but for this demonstration I'm going to keep it all on one layer. So now I've created a keyframe on frame 2 and I'm going to go no, 72 frames out and create a keyframe for my background so I have the background throughout the entire animation. And you see the open circle on frame two, that means there's nothing there. So I'm locking my background and making sure that it's the only thing on that layer. And then you're gonna go down to the bottom and you're gonna see onion skin. Click that on and you notice you have um, sort of like an alpha, uh, like a 50% alpha or so of your previous frame while you're drawing on your next frame. So I'm going to go ahead and just do this character on a skateboard and he's going into the ramp. Um, you can press F7 to create a new keyframe uh, more quickly instead of right clicking and going to keyframe. So I'm going to go ahead, F7 and I'm just doing this all freehand with the mouse. And so I've got my character falling into this ramp. F7. And Control Z to quickly undo something you don't like. You could always use like the eraser tool or whatnot. I'm just using Control Z. And I'm just drawing in my character. And I'm going to do this for um, the extent of the animation. So every frame is being hand drawn with uh, 
I'm using the paintbrush tool. You could use the pencil tool if you want. Um, I prefer the paintbrush tool for this particular animation. So I've got my skateboarder making his way down the ramp and I am just filling in um, frame by frame with the onion skin tools. So I can see the previous frame of where he was and how quickly I want him to be moving on the skateboard. Um, this is a great technique to do any hand-drawn animations. Um, you could, uh, it's easier to do like walk cycles and stuff like that using the onion skin tool because you can see the previous frame. Um, this is just a straight ahead animation. Um, I'm not doing this pose to pose. So I've got my character here making his way up the ramp up the other half and the wheels and I'm simply just going to do this throughout the extent of the entire animation um, I'm probably not going to go all the way to 72 frames I'll just have him go up and down once So, he is going up the ramp. Now, I, I'll, do, I'll have him do a trick. I'll have him do a backflip. So, here's my character making his way into the air. And I forgot to draw arms on in the previous frame, so I just went back a frame. doing the flip. So he's got uh, he's got the momentum of doing this flip. It's great to have the onion skin on because I can keep track of where his entire body is throughout the entire animation in each um, frame. I can see the previous frame that was drawn. The previous two actually. So I've got him starting to do this flip, um, keeping the head relatively in the same spot for this flip. And um, this is an awesome way if you're going to do key pose animation as well. You can go ahead and add the in-betweens as you like and see fit to, um, you know, if you want quicker timing or whatever. It's just a great uh, technique to have so he's almost completing his back foot and he is about to land back onto the ramp this is um, this is a pretty cool way to get started in doing some hand-drawn animations frame by frame. Um, stick figure goes pretty quickly if you're going to do something more complicated. Uh, it will take you much longer to do something like this. But since I'm just doing a stick figure, it goes pretty quickly. Just a couple lines, a couple circles. And all I'm doing is I'm pressing F7 to create a new keyframe uh, more quickly versus right clicking on the timeline and going up to keyframe, insert keyframe. And all, even if you're on that frame, you press F7, it just creates a new keyframe for you automatically and brings you to that um, keyframe on the playhead, which is the red square in the timeline. So he's almost all the way through the ramp. He's just about to start making his way up. And then I'll just have him at the end, I guess, just kind of uh, jump onto that ledge on the left side. 
so I got them going up the ramp just press F7 when you want to create a new keyframe uh, that's the keyboard shortcut for it and we got him almost done just a few more frames before I'm going before I start previewing it I got I'm on frame 26 now and remember this is at 24 frames per second do one maybe one more after this uh, this is um, this is probably a lot easier with a drawing tablet um, it's a much better style to use if you have a drawing tablet um, I'm just using the mouse though since it's so simple on this one anyway it is um, very easy just to use the mouse but if you have a drawing tablet uh, feel free to use a drawing tablet gives you a little bit more control and I've got my animation so the next thing I'm going to do since I didn't go all the way out to 72 frames is I'm going to do that remove frames oh, highlight over it right click remove frames so it's about 29 30 seconds or 29 30 frames which is just over one second so I'm gonna go ahead and hit play preview it and goes up does a flip comes back next thing I'm gonna do I'm just gonna hit control enter and export it as a swift and you see this is what you get so that's the onion skin tutorial very easy very simple um, can take a lot of time, but it's fun anyway. That's it.